Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Thursday. Happy Friday Eve. I think I probably have the the, the bettiest bedhead <laughs> that I've had so far. Um, but maybe my goal would be to actually, you know, see how messy I get my hair to go or to look. So, um, yeah, happy Thursday. Um, yeah, Friday Eve. So, uh, let's kill today. Let's have a positive day and let's get into morning message today, which is on living with intention. Okie dokie. So let's hop into it. So living with intention. If you can get past my bedhead. Maybe I can't get past that. So <laughs> we're going to get past it. So living with intention. So I just wanted to expand a little bit off of my morning reminder this Thursday. So let me just actually read my caption real quick because I think that'll just be easiest for me to kind of hop into it and then explain it afterwards. So let's go and read it now. So my caption goes something like this. Intention is one of the most powerful forces there is. If you actively take steps towards intentionally living without obsessing over what other people think, it will be the most freeing decision of your life. This shift from living in an unstable perception within a perception of ourselves, of who I am, of this perception of who, of I am who I think you think I am, and basing our self-worth on someone else's valuation to a strong, shifting that to a strong rooted knowing in how we feel about ourselves and having our own thoughts about who we are opens a beautiful reality for what is possible with our lives in this world. Okie dokie, I am going to put a hat on because um, yeah, I can't stand that. So I uh, yeah, just wanted to expand on this a little bit. So, um, we, so what I kind of did yesterday was actually try and be super focused on living my days you take my whole day and living it with this very direct intention and kind of directing my focus on the things that I needed to get done. So I wanted to kind of break down my caption a little bit and explain it um, kind of from my perspective. So that piece where I say sometimes we base our self-worth on how other people, on someone else's valuation um, is what I wanted to break down. So and I... I I basically describe this as a flawed way of thinking and very un and it can be unstable because so it's unstable because we, we really have absolutely no control over how other people think right like we can only control what we think what we do or our own actions and our own thoughts so you know this way of thinking is unstable because we have no control over this and oftentimes it isn't really the re it isn't the reality of what is actually going on anyway so, you know, our thought patterns are trying to, are attempting to recreate the thought patterns of other people's. So like a, a literally prime example of this the other day, I was literally in my car filming this, like filming a morning message. And there was someone that was waiting for me to kind of leave, which I have to be strategic about because this is kind of how I do these morning messages and people think I'm just going to leave. Um, really, I should probably just tell them, but, um, and I was like, oh, they're going to be so mad, like about me that I'm doing this. And like, I was creating this like way that they were thinking about me. And then they kind of like rolled out to me. I'm like, oh, here you go. They're going to yell at me. And like, I rolled down my window and they're like, oh, hey, like, are you, um, are you still waiting? Are you going to leave soon? Um, like in the probably the super kindest and, and sweetest way. And I was like, oh my God, like a minute for like, I was taken aback a little bit because I thought they were going to be upset with me. Um, and I was like, oh no, like I'm, I'm just, um, I'm going to be leaving soon, but, um, I'm going to be here for a little bit more. And they're like, okay. And then they like, they drove off to find another parking spot. Um. And so this was a super simple example, but um, something that I could relate to this kind of way that sometimes we, we, there's this quote that I actually posted a reel about from Ryan Holiday from the Daily Stoic the other day, where there's this philosopher named, the Stoic philosopher named Seneca, where he says, you know, a famous quote of his is that we suffer more in imagination than in, than in reality. And so this was me really thinking like, oh, they're going to be like spending any time, like a complete waste of time, really thinking that they would be upset with me um, when in actuality it wasn't necessarily suffering from that but I was like like thinking that they're thinking this way about me when in reality they're just like it was a complete opposite like they're super sweet and super kind and, and understanding um, so that was just an example that I could and then, la and then just to expand upon the last piece of the Thursday reminder um, into saying that the solution to this way of thinking is knowing how we feel about ourselves and having our own thoughts about who we are and shifting it into a very strong and rooted thought process uh, about ourselves. And so then to kind of swing back and circle back into speaking on intention and our focus, our energy, what we, what we allow 
to impact us and what we choose to direct our energy and focus towards like that's how i kind of see intention is our ability to kind of direct our focus throughout our days right i think it's it's it actually it's actually it takes a lot of power to maybe direct it in a certain way when we've, we've when we've been conditioned to do certain things and i was talking about this with my one of my clients the other day about about like grocery shopping right sometimes people just kind of get set in their ways with items they buy like unhealthy items whenever they're buying their groceries because they just always bought these groceries and this is kind of um always what they do and always what they eat because they like this and i think i think they can apply to a lot of different things in our lives whenever we get so stuck in our ways of um unhealthy habits but then you know also healthy habits too which is obviously a good thing and so the key kind of overall is maybe being able to accept take a step back and identify like if you're stuck in your ways and you're always doing certain things, um, like I'm trying to think for me, like something that I'll do sometimes or used to do would be um, really, honestly, one thing that I'll do is actually be looking at the people who viewed my stories. Like I wasted a lot of time doing that. And I kind of noticed that. And I was like, this isn't serving me at all. Like, why do I, why am I doing this? Um, and, or like another, maybe it would be just scrolling like on Instagram. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to like, take back control of my intention being like okay let's 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 see how much time we're wasting here doing this and let's actually direct it into things that i need to get done it should be getting done or it can serve me better um and yeah we're even like objectively looking at um engagement and a lot of these quantitative factors as a whole into how well performance of posts go stories go polls go like how people respond different comments different um, DMs, like it really doesn't matter, right? Um, like how does it actually serve me unless I'm actually seeking that advice from someone who is actually coming from a point where I can heed that advice or actually take the advice seriously or whatever their opinion is. Like I think a lot of times we, a lot of people give, give us or give people like unsolicited advice and we kind of take that to heart. Like a stranger may give us this unsolicited advice or opinion about us and we like believe it. Whereas we like, we seek that out, like, and who are they, why are, who are they to like give that to us? And like, who are we to actually believe what they're saying about it? And so I just wanted to cap this a little bit. I know it kind of got a little bit away from the intention part, but um, I think that's actually the result of kind of what I was speaking about, of, of maybe not living our days so much intentionally with so much intention. And a lot, I think a lot of it is actually this, this, in, in, this intentional and purposeful like ignorance to what is going on with around us um, and I, th I think there's a lot of beauty in that whenever people choose to willingly choose to not see listen hear to um, things going on around us what it if it doesn't serve us in any way so that is my little morning message on living with intention and I hope you guys have a great Thursday a great Friday Eve and I will see you guys soon Love you. Peace.